What's up guys? This is the Broverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, we have counterattacked the Poles in the northeastern section of my empire, but the Ottomans have taken this as an opportunity to drive west and hit my capital. And we have troops to the west, so hmm, it's going to be a bit dodgy to win here because these inventory horsemen are just so damn effective. Um, but the idea is if we can do as much damage as possible, that makes it easier for my follow-up forces to recapture Munich. So let's see what we can do. We need to f but we need to uh, then uh, start to recruit more troops around my empire to improve the ability of my eastern front to actually hold. So we've done quite well against the Poles up in the Berlin-Dresden area, and we have troops that are currently being... Uh, recruited to strengthen those armies and allow them to drive east but we've really got a bit of a gap here to plug and this isn't too bad as far as terrain goes <clears throat> um, I think I want to try and fight in the plains as much as I can and try and maximise the amount of muskets I can bring to bear at any one target. So let's deploy two more units out on the right flank. Let's probably put a cavalry in on the left, cavalry on the right. So you guys are going to deploy out here as well. Three units of militia I'm going to use to bolster this rank here, including the infant, including the militia I previously earmarked to deploy. So I'm going to put a strong contingent of infantry on the right flank to spread out and secure the high ground. Mortars. Put them, put them close to my lines, probably behind an infantry unit, such that. They can't really drop shells down onto my own lines because they're a bit too close. Okay. Oh, cr crumbs. Form line. The main in, the main danger is going to be all of those horsemen. They're all moving off as one large clump. Probably going to need to keep my cavalry on the right flank here. It's tempting to push forward, but I'm not going to. Explosive shells are kind of useless. I use my howitzers or my mortars to try and engage as much enemy cavalry as possible. Maybe go for this unit because they're currently. The ones that are advancing towards my line. What is pivotal is whether or not they stand off and skirmish us, or do they charge. Got a czar on the left. Okay, I think we need to more. I think we need to fairly decisively engage some of this cavalry here. You chap cease fire. That unit's going to come back, but I want to try and route as many individual units as I can. Got some bashi bazooks and some azars pushing up on the left, which isn't ideal. Make sure my howitzers are engaging a different unit of cavalry. Should probably pull my grenadiers away. My general has fallen in my Prushenk cavalry. Actually, let's keep charging them to make sure they do die. My militia line hold. 
quickly pull my grit cavalry back because they are beginning to skirmish into the combat, which is massively detrimental to my morale. Let's try run my Prushink horse away. No, that wasn't going to fly. Fire it will activate again. I want to bring a militia unit over onto this flank. I want them to attempt to charge me. That's a good outcome. Them skirmishing me is bad. Because they're... They are able... So you guys form square and try to use my cavalry as bait. Because yeah, look. We managed to make an infant cavalry unit... An infantry unit of mine routes without even... Batting an eyelid. And those Azar aren't going to help either. Fall back my infantry line to this house. You men drop into square, you men stay in square. That's quite fortuitous, actually. You men are pouring a volley fire into the Bashi Bazooks. Hopefully, you can reload. It looks like they must have had a cavalry unit soak up some of the fire. Excellent. So pull my grenadiers back through my cavalry line. Get a garrison militia to chase down that Azar unit. You men chase down that Azar unit. You men charge the Muslim. Because yeah, you can just see the amount of fire they're doing is dangerous. And this unit's barely lost anyone. So that unit's going to have to hold their position because they're not going to... I can't pull back. My militia in here. Apologies. Make you guys fire at will. Drop you guys into square. Okay, let's try a bit of a ballsy tactic. Let's charge them. Make them initiate combat. Then drop into square. My right flank has collapsed. my militia around over to the right flank but you can soon see this amount of skirmish fire they can put out with their Zimado horsemen pretty darn effective my militia is currently going to be out of action because they're going to hit the Azar and be countercharged by their pikes my militia inside the garrison inside the building are routing yeah this army didn't really have much of a chance so you men reload and try and do some damage to the Bashi, ba Bashi Bazooks. But yeah, those... That cavalry... That, that cavalry, they're charging it forward in numbers. You are definitely not going to last very long. You men hit the Bashis. Yeah, this... this so much cavalry, so much cavalry that can do so much damage to my infantry. It can make a full infantry unit rout after losing hardly any men. That's quite significant. But just keep holding on, keep doing as much damage as is humanly possible. Oh, I've deployed, I didn't deploy one more unit of infantry. Let's throw them up front. Yeah, fundamentally, that cavalry can just do so much more damage than we really think. You may drop into cavalry, because it looks like that unit of horsemen are going to charge you anyway. You guys go for the Bashis, although you're about to get hit in the rear. They're charging down in mortars, which is just fine. Because another good win, well, a secondary impact of this action will be to just do as much damage as possible to make the resulting counter-attack that much more dangerous to the enemy. Whatever damage we can do to the enemy, I'll take. Fundamentally, this militia unit, or this uh, mercenary unit back here, is going to do some really good damage against two units of cavalry, which, if they wanted to be most effective, it would be to stand off and just uh, engage me with bow fire. 
But yeah, the militia's going down. So let's just speed up time, to be honest. Because you managed to retreat one unit of cavalry. Here comes another unit of cavalry coming in. So you see, it's different to hold off from their skirmish cavalry when you've got... If they don't have the infantry to back it up, because you can see they're throwing lots of cavalry units at me, and we are managing to throw them back every time. But it's the fact that they can they can bolster it with so many more actual infantry units. Although, actually, weirdly, some of my some of my units have come back. Not that it's going to do them much good. Just keep speeding up. Just keep uh, speeding up time and just make people attack because ultimately there's no point fighting this for that much longer because it's only a matter of time. Do as much damage as possible, but beyond that, they're not going to be able to, to achieve the impossible. And I can't retreat them anyway. Ah, darn, nang, blast it. Uh, more artillery. Really? Still managed to do 1,500 damage, so they've taken my capital, temporarily. They're sending up more troops, so I want to bring the Berlin garrison south if possible. I can send my main army to go siege the capital to just pin them in. Well, to be honest, I might just have to attack them anyway. We're, getting, we're due for a reasonable amount of income, because our capital will have travelled. So we've not lost all that trade income, it's just going somewhere else now. 13,500, yes, we lost our capital. It's tempting actually to advance and attack these armies here to force them back, because they're not going to be able to go anywhere in the capital, because the public order is so... Well, the resistance to public upset is so... not resistance to public upset, public order is so low. Got two marines in Amsterdam. Everyone who is not currently needed for the attack will travel to Stuttgart to hold. You guys could be useful in the east. Doesn't mean I end up needing to recruit. Recruit some infantry because Paris is fairly secure. For the time being, that is. Uh, we've got this Polish force to the north, so you try and... Yay! Thank God. That was a bit, of a, a bit of a gamble there. Repair these industry buildings, get my Dragoons replenished back to Hanover. You chaps can replenish. Can you leave Berlin? Minus six. Not entirely. First of all, get a sloop back to Rostock. My Dragoons aren't going to be able to make it in time. We can bolster the force that's currently sieging Prague. To be honest, they may even attack Prague, because we do have the advantage. Do some recruitment in Berlin. Do some replenishment in Berlin. Do some recruitment in Dresden to the south. Uh, you aren't actually need don't necessarily need to move. You could advance towards Gdansk, or even maybe towards... Breslau might be the more strategic option. But we could go for Gdansk. Take Prague... Oh, I'd like to take all three of these, to be honest. Advance down the road towards Breslau. Actually, if we next turn, if we could capture it without a battle, and we can take Prague and Breslau, we may be able to forge a peace with Poland, because they will then be focusing on the east... So you chaps advance up to Stuttgart, because that's not a re not a terrible army. Recruit some guns, one gun in Strasbourg, one gun in Cologne. Then let's make Mr. Tauber advance up to here. Ooh, do I want to fight all of them? No, we got intercepted by the city, so we're going to pull back. Bit of a bummer. But we don't need a massively strong force to garrison Munich, or to siege Munich, so these guys should probably be enough. You guys have to go more north. 
They could then... Okay, that's kind of a bummer. Because these guys could break out north, but if they do, we will just chase them. Dresden, it looks like. Okay, there's nowhere immediately useful that we can recruit infantry. We do just need bulk. Freikorps line are fractionally cheaper, but let's just build a couple of Freikorps and a couple of line. To be honest, everywhere that can recruit probably should recruit. We're off 10,000 next turn, which isn't as much. It might even be beneficial. Well, let's just take Prague back as bloodlessly as we can. Because the garrison is quite small. It will provide us a certain amount of tax income. And we might... Even though Breslau is within our grasp, we may want to see if we can get peace with Poland after losing Prague. Let's see. To be honest, just put my the infantry that can fire by rank up front. My weaker militia stay back. My cavalry bolster the flanks. Guns sit up on the high ground. The enemy garrison is rather small, not looking for a slugfest. But it would be beneficial to take back this territory. Make our line infantry run. There's a couple of lines that are reasonably strong. So you men push up and secure the flank. We're going to start to see our old friends, our old sound issue friends continue. She's so pushed my first regiment of dragoons to the rear. Get my guns to focus on the second regiment to the rear. Yeah, we're expecting a lot of retreats. Fundamentally, if we take Prague, we will get a small garrison boost to help us defend the city. My Grenadiers and the 10th Regiment are ready to fire a few volleys into the enemy here. Make sure you defeat their... Make sure you kill their general. The 2nd Regiment are wavering. There we go. Excellent. I'll take that as a fairly bloodless capture of the city. So let's see how much does that help us out. We've got a couple of units of garrison left. Okay, I could. Okay, it's it's tempting to see if they go for it now, just to see if they will. Okay, that's. Potentially a bit unexpected because of Breslau, but it does mean that Mr. Tobelman, you can drive, you can replenish and drive south towards Vienna. Mr. Faber can then leave Prague, get a bit of replenishment done because he's mostly replenished, and then block off these armies here to try and attempt to them, attempt to prevent them from breaking out to the west, to the east. Sorry. You guys are going to position up here. Although, to be honest, if I've got these arm these troops here are also trying to take them out. Okay, let's try and keep our... Yeah, because we've lost our college, but at least we have no buildings they're going to destroy here. We may even get rebel um, support here. I'm not sure how that works, because my capital doesn't normally get attacked. But I might actually attempt to get trade with Poland. Ooh. That is interesting. So now we can really focus on squeezing the Prussians, not the Prussians, the, Os the Ottomans to the south. Take Prague, take Hungary, then consolidate. 
So I'm not interested in fighting Poland yet. In fact, it's, it looks like it's done them good, and they actually seem to trust me because they've they've left uh, they've left no troops garrisoning their border forts. Yeah, they are aware that something is up. Do I want to intercept this force? I probably do. Although ideally not necessarily with my just my lone dragoon unit, but I will want to intercept because my army that's going to move towards the fort um, is there to provide reinforcement. We can and will combine troops rather than um, keep troops at half strength but replenished. So we've got lots of infantry in the area. We've got marines. I've got one. This lone unit of dragoons is going to have to hightail it to wherever it, the other guys are, which should be over to the right somewhere. But we're coming from all over the place. This is where my main army is coming in from. Not ideal. Try not to let them know you're here, General. All oh, this infantry run. You guys aren't. My marines on the left flank haven't even entered the field yet. My marines probably want to wait somewhere to collect my other marine unit. Keep my dragoons away from their infantry first. This is could get a bit dodgy. Commit my dragoons in because it looks like we're about to get attacked. So I have my two marine units. These men advance up here. All of you guys run. So my marines are a bit exposed, but at least they are marines, so they will hold on quite nicely. This is my reinforcing army that was originally recruited over at Paris. Okay, so you guys can now... Now you can push up. My guns back here are going to hold their ground. This line infantry can advance up and secure territory there. My marines over there run over here instead. Get my cannons to engage that unit of horsemen there. Go on, see you men pour a volley into them at point blank range. Three musket units against one cavalry unit. They'll get off one volley of bow fire. They've missed a lot. Good. You men hold at the edge of the village. retreat not from retreating but they are falling back Q 
keep everyone running. I hear a charge. Bashies are going in. They're going to try and charge my militia, which is their prerogative. Counter charge with my own militia. Even if you elect to run, it is not the end of the world, militia, especially when we've got more troops on the way. I just want my line over here to form a strong infantry line. Keep attacking the enemy cavalry very, very nicely. It looks like they, dis they want to run through my other line or in front of my other line. So they'll continue to get engaged by my infantry. Push my dragoons up. Gotta surround and destroy those Bashi Bazooks. There is now an extra slot free in the front line. Okay, so you men now advance up to hold this gap. General died? No, it must be my Dragoon. My Dragoon Captain. General's bodyguard chased them down. My, my Marines have now made it to my line. Very well. So you men all march to a position to the rear. My gunners to the rear back here, limber up and get ready to advance. I'm going to knock out that unit of Israeli with constant withering fire. Once these guys have set up, they will eviscerate the horsemen. Let's get my guns up to the higher ground. Get this unit of militia to run around. No, nope, not needed. Fall back. Excellent. Form my line again. Guns go here. They have routed two. So just form up and engage them with musket fire. Oh, I get a one marine unit to hold the flank. Everyone else continue to advance. There we go, they're making themselves a bit exposed. Just keep firing. The first regiment are reloading, but they can carry on engaging the seventh. I've not lost many horsemen. Okay, I think this is the play. Pull back to force them into open ground where I don't get penalised as much with my um, limited ability to, fight, to put a large number of muskets into the fight. I, by, by pulling back, I'm forcing them to come a bit closer Potentially, well, I'm exposing them to more of my muskets, fundamentally. Actually, bazooks are broken. Fourth Order. They're going down pretty thick and fast.
There we go, I've got more people able to engage their cavalry rather than relying on my guys kind of oh and lots of them are hitting this unit they're going after my 29th regiment now they are slowly going down another horseman unit bashi bazooka and this Israeli unit that's what they've got left to play with but we are pushing them away go it's probably want something like this try not to commit all my cavalry all my infantry in because the infantry that's not needed I may as well have them Replenish. See men push up my militia. Advance to the rear. Bashi Bazook's coming in, but my militia. Oh, that's a good volley. You better watch out. Apologies, Bashi Bazooks. Okay, they're trying again. Let's push the flank, so organize a bit of a defensive position. Reposition my troops. Because they still can do a lot of damage. Volley after volley is pouring onto the 13th Order. So the 30th Regiment are engaging this horseman unit with musket fire. The 10th Regiment, when they're firing at will, will pour some shots in. Push them back. Same with this horseman unit as they advance. They begin to expose themselves to my musket fire. But the biggest danger isn't... The biggest danger isn't the cavalry themselves. It's just more about their ability to prevent your infantry from firing by rank. So it really does limit the amount of firepower that gets put out. So you need to concentrate quite a disproportionate amount of line infantry units to push back a horseman unit while an a melee unit like this begins to push up. So if a target you goes to shoot the Bashi Bazooks, the front rank then now has to reload. Not routed anyway. So we've got a Bashi, Bazoo Bashi Bazook unit to the north. Where's my... You men charge the Bashi Bazooks. Push my infantry up. You men chase down the Bashi Bazooks. Get my general around the flank, somewhere a bit safer to pursue and destroy units rather than charging through the front line. But I am going to speed up the time now because we've got. One last Israeli unit that's going to be eating musket fire. Okay, you guys all fire it well off. We're going to continue because we want to kill as many of them as we can. They got a lot of cavalry, so there's not as many men we need to destroy as we think. That's one Bashi Bazook unit gone. You chased down the other Bashi Bazook unit. You guys continue to chase down the 13th Order. So we've done a bit of damage to our force that could attack the city of Munich. But at the same time, thanks to now getting peace with Poland, 
that frees up a lot of our firepower to smash south. Well, it looks like this is now the last unit. Nice. There we go. So that uh, Ottoman army has been smacked back. They've only got 849 men remaining. Let's do the same with the next one. Because then both of those armies can be hit by the force that's going to be coming back from Germany. And then the force that's currently in good nick can advance and siege uh, Munich itself. To prevent that large army from breaking out, then my Prague force can march south and hit Vienna. Which would be a fantastic position to do some damage. Okay, the only problem is if... Problem. Okay, to run my... Marines over to this high ground... They're only walking their infantry over here. So we might be able to make a reasonable amount of progress. With running my marines. Granted their... Granted their uh, cavalry walking is faster than my infantry running. But the longer it takes... The better, really. Two guys might just cover, might just advance you guys to here, and this unit of line infantry can go into the woods for cover. Not going to need very much cover. Well not, not, well, not cover, but, you know, strategic depth for this one. Because a, it's a larger, a larger f um, contingent of it is uh, infantry that's coming in. Yeah, Israeli, Muslim. Lots of these very elite infantry sections aren't going to actually be required to win the fight. I mean, they are going to do some damage to my uh, marines, which I don't necessarily want, but there we go. Just going to keep making sure we fire at will off. They're attempting to charge, and my marines are are very much what I would like them to charge. Let's run my grenadiers up to help them out. Muslim, Mamelukes. If they're going to try and smash into my line, good luck to them is what I say, because uh, they won't thank you for anything else. The Muslim are about to rout. Which would be great, because then more fire would focus on the Israeli. Yeah. <laughs> Did contemplate if putting my guns up so close to the front line was necessarily a good idea. I run my dragoons through the Muslim. Get my cavalry to push around the flank. Yeah, the horsemen are focusing on my infantry square. You men push up, you men push up. These are Pandar, so they're going to be skirmishing with us, which isn't necessarily what we want. Hit the fifth order in the flank. We're going to eat some musket fire from the Janissary Musketeers. But we might break the fifth order, and these Val Dra Dragoons can hit the Pandawa. 
you men advance up. My guns hit the Mamelukes, which look like they might be coming in to counter charge us. Focus fire them with my artillery. The irregulars are broken. Charge my Val Dragoons on into the fifth order. Gunners are opening up on the Mamelukes, which is nice. You guys fire it well off. To be honest, I might actually pull you guys back. So the 11th Regiment have a good field of fire to shoot into the combat. Might just recruit, retreat these Dragoons away. Get out of there, Dragoons. Okay, let's do something like this. Maybe pull you guys back for good. Okay, actually you guys over here because you need to charge the Pandar but we also want to get rid of that Israeli unit. Push up my right flank. Take out those pesky skirmishes. Let's deploy some units on the flank to hit the Mamelukes although they are wavering from our artillery fire. Let's get those skirmishes there. Okay, they're down. Okay, you guys push on to the Sorelli. Let's get both of these units on them. Focus my guns on the Janissary Musketeers to the front. I chiefly want to do enough damage so that my smaller unit can actually try and chase them down because I want my larger unit to chase after these Janissary Musketeers. They're what I want to kill. Push my general up. Because those Mamelukes aren't going to be around for very long. Hit the Israeli because they were wavering. They were going to get in the way of me chasing down those Janissaries. Shaken, wavering. General, push straight through the middle. Run my cavalry away. Chase down those guys. You men. You're not going to get rid of them. Chase down the infantry there. You guys all. Fire it will off. Yeah, we're going to continue. Janissaries are a particularly juicy target, but it's hard to ignore a Sorelli, especially when they're so depleted. Might suffer from a bit of fratricide there. It's one unit, there we go. Now you can also come and help out, take out the Janissary Musketeers, because these guys are definitely going to rout. Cease fire the guns. Make sure you always charge ungrouped, because otherwise the AI tries to always put them in formation when they're pursuing, which is particularly weird. Nice. So those two armies that had the potential to be quite disruptive actually have fewer than 1,200 men left between them. Oh, this force, sorry, is not be the one that drives south to hit Vienna. 
But apart from that, even though it seems like a potentially decisively dangerous push by the Ottomans, it feels like they've kind of blundered. Workers have rioted in Brandenburg. Probably want to try and sort that out. Let's actually get you guys up here. Try getting my Dragoons over here as well. Minus four becomes minus two. If I exempt them from tax, the problem is solved for a turn. 9,000 is still a lot. So you men, Mr. Tauber, Tauber, put the city of Munich under siege. These troops combine with guns. You can advance slightly further up, then I will take these infantry recruited from Amsterdam. Yes, sir. Let's get another general. Jonas. <laughs> look, at, look at old Tubby Frank for. <laughs> Brilliant. He's only 28. Oh, would you believe it? You guys are going to advance onto Coburg. You're going to maintain the siege of Munich. In terms of everything else, we can repel it. Punish this building here in Prague. You guys are going to stay here just to prevent them. If if when you hit these guys, if they retreat east. But Mr. Tobelman, what are you? Actually, you're a lot of cavalrymen. I might actually hold you guys here. We need to do some artillery upgrades to the east. I don't necessarily want to push against so many cavalry. Not in one go. Let's get a couple of the cheaper upgrades. Actually, let's get this agent here towards Belgrade. Let's get some visibility on what's going on inside their territory. France is slowly get it coming on side. I'm going to build a church, I'm going to build a school, and I'm going to upgrade the coaching in to a boarding house to balance that out. Gives us 53 hundo, and I don't think we have any cheap industry upgrades. It's all, I mean, mostly it's all water mills. Let's upgrade a weaver's cottage just to begin that upgrade. 1337 remaining. Nice, to be honest. No, actually, I think it, it does us good to siege Munich. Because they are being incredibly, incredibly depleted. Oh, they've ruined the college, which we can't repair because we don't have the money. Um, but now we're at peace with Poland. I can upgrade you to a craft workshop. You men are continuing garrison the city. We've got 500 cash. That gives us means we can either recruit militia or sakers, which are both bad options. All of my armies are fully replenished. Ooh, Halbita, recruitable in Paris. Let's get that and start sending them east. Okay, we need to... Okay, so we're on for 8,966 next turn. Okay, there's not a lot we can do apart from end turn. There's a danger you guys might march south and attack Mr. Torba. But let's see if that happens first. It might be possible that, that Ottoman army just digs in in the school and decides to replenish rather than hold. Spain has declared war on me, which is not very good at all. Especially as it calls in potentially all these allies. Let's see who joins them. No one. Good. I mean, Spain declaring on us was going to happen at some point. So they want me to give them Bohemia. And they're going to offer Silesia. And all this other tech, which we're not going to give them. But the army that takes uh, Munich is going to go west and start to threaten Spain. We're not going to let this pass. Hey, the defenders of Munich have sallied. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Come at us, Munich garrison. You got nothing. You got nothing. 
But yeah, this army is going to replenish and head west to prevent the Spanish from getting up to no good. We want to consolidate our troops in the east, and then we want to take a breath, do some rebuilding, hold the borders of our empire, upgrade our economy, and ideally actually send some troops out to the new world to gain some colonies. So let's spread out some guns in our line. Might put one unit on the high ground to the rear. This is where Howitz has become so useful. Is you, you have your field artillery in the battle line shooting at troops that you need to destroy but then you have howitzers to the rear just lobbing shells at targets that you really just want to wipe out so you guys dig in you guys dig in nice of them to sally and then proceed to deploy as far away as possible So speed up time. Max firing their artillery. Yeah, their infantry positions. Garrison Islamic swordsmen. Huh. So here come some horsemen pushing up for up front. When you guys get into position, you, you'll be able to gun down this horseman unit pretty rapidly. down to two cavalrymen. Oh no, you get more than that now. They fired their volley in defiance at us. My line infantry is reforming. Come on, 12th Regiment. Form up and pour a volley into them. Shattered them. Excellent. Eh, let's pivot, you guys. Like so, stretch you out a little bit more to maximise the amount of muskets on target. Fundamentally, this is the main uh, core of their army. So let's get one of my gun teams to focus on their horsemen. Have their artillery crews have abandoned their guns completely, it would appear. Yeah, by pulling back, it means both of these units can now engage the horsemen, which, as you can see, they were particularly vulnerable. Got a unit of Muslim advancing alone, which is going to be quite problematic. The closer you get, the better my muskets get. Sense all my guys flying. Kill the handful of cavalrymen that are currently within range. Shattered. Focus on the Azar, although we can probably. Well, we will do some shenanigans on the right flank to prevent their range bonus from being too decisive. These Azars have wandered just a bit too close for my militia. to my militia. So you guys cast a shot in that order, you guys round shot. Peter Sorelli coming in, you guys keep round shotting their garrison Islamic swordsmen. Yeah, these are now under fire from our line infantry. Down you go. I mean, these just Muslim melee troops. Bashi Bazooks, where's my cavalry? Unit of Val Dragoon, bring them over here as well. Hey. 
they're on our flank. But these chaps do not stand much of a chance advancing towards our line. And I don't blame them, to be honest. That's a raw deal. Get this gun team switched to cast shot, begin to bombard the Israeli. Get my general over onto this flank. Though he does want to run a bit behind our line. Okay, focus on mode on the Mashi Bazooks. These are currently safe. Yeah, this Orta here. They're going down pretty quick. Oh, the Bashi Bazooks charged my infantry on this flank. Can they go do a bit of damage? Push my cavalry forward at speed up the hill to knock out those Azar. We're not attacking them yet, we're just getting close. You guys can then push up. This unit of Muslim are trying to charge in again, which they're not going to like that. Garrison swordsmen have been broken. Like my dragoons can probably run down both of those units of skirmishes. There's a pikeman unit to be cognizant of. Let's focus on these. Uh... Hey, the Muslim made into the line into the range of my militia, but my line infantry is in range of their skirmishes, so they're not going to be too happy about that. Especially now that my militia. You're right. Run, cavalry, run! Turn around and have a go again now that they're focusing. My line infantry can engage the pikemen unmolested. You men pivot because the garrison Islamic swordsmen are trying again. Well not, well, not trying again. They never tried in the first place. Where's my general? You go after the Azar. My militia. Get into position. Oh, the pikemen are routing as well. Get my coverage to chase them down. My militia are going to counter charge the Islamic swordsmen. And that showed them what for. Artillery's done some friendly fire damage. Sweet. So the only unit left is this one gun team. So all my artillery switched to round shot. Oh no, there is one general's unit back there. So focus all my artillery on them first. Garrison Azar shattered. Speed up time a little bit. So all my artillery is slamming home against the enemy there. My general go after the Islamic swordsmen a little bit, but not too much. Well, no, their cavalry's coming, so make them run. Janissaries are going to try and chase down on my general too. They're all trying to chase down my general. The head of the column is going to attack my line, but their horsemen have been routed. So now, Janissaries, you guys are a bit vulnerable. Eh, go after the gunners. Yeah, the gunners are all that's left. Chase them down. Nice. Just end it there. Because there's no... I'm not worried about chasing them down. They are... They've lost a good chunk of their forces there. 600 men remaining. Yep. 
My counter-attack is going to be delicious. Sweden are beginning to push the Russians out of their territory. So you have to be wary of the Spanish and what they may attempt to do. They can't really get anywhere quickly. But we do have... We have a good land border with them, but they have to march a long way up through Paris, up through the French region first before they get to us. Excellent. So... Mr. Tauber, continue to replenish. Actually, I might even try and see if I can break up a unit of militia, because we not, don't necessarily need them all. Mr. Frankfurter is just out of range to hit you guys. So I may have to send you guys up here for... Oh, Trevis, if I... I don't want... Uh, I don't want to attack from this direction, because they'll retreat to the west. I don't want to attack, attack them from here necessarily, because they may retreat up through here. So you guys might have to advance or retreat back towards Prague for now, to make sure that's covered. So that Mr. Farber can advance to here and attack the garrison. Although I'm actually I'm going to auto that because they are knackered. Mr. Torber, to be honest, I'm going to auto resolve that as well because they too are knackered. Capital city recaptured. I'm going to sink a load of cash into replenishing or repairing my buildings here. But what that does mean is Mr. Tauber can advance to the east. You men and you guys. Okay, let's try and reconstitute Mr. Barber's army first. So let's pinch the marines, these infantrymen. Actually, ooh, okay. Let's swap the militia out. So Mr. Barber's force... A significant cavalry element. Okay, so you guys... Okay, right, we need to figure this out. You men cover the bridge. Okay, two armies, they're going to go to the east. You guys change a plan. They're going to go to... So soon this will be my territory. But you men are going to go over towards Spain. You men, Jonas Frankfurter. You can try and replenish. Actually, let's maybe cancel the cannon foundry. Oh no, it doesn't, make, it doesn't give us much money. We're probably going to try and repair Coburg. But that's not going to happen. Because um, I was looking at maybe... Well, who's, who's, who's Venice's friends? We're at war with Russia, but they're friendly with us and the Ottomans. It ceases to become a problem until we take Vienna. When we take Vienna, well, ideally we want to take Vienna and Hungary at the same time, but then suddenly this pass becomes a potential risk, which might be where something like you guys come into the mix, but you guys might actually be a reasonable force to send overseas. But let's hit enter and let's try to get a bit of extra cash. Oh, Britain, they're going to land our troop. Ooh, okay. Whew. Uh, they offer indefinite military access. I'm not interested in it. My school's on fire, Poland. You're not going to get anything useful from there. If the Ottomans attempt to try and make peace with us, they are going to be incredibly, incredibly uh, unsurprised at my reaction, which is going to be a swift two-fingered salute. But apart from that, now we're getting about 10,000-ish or more a turn. That's a lot of cash, and we can turn that into some good income. In Central Europe, we've got a lot of industry buildings that can be upgraded. Especially if we squeeze out Spain to the west. 
carve out a bit more territory to the east, particularly Vienna and Hungary, because those are good territories to hold. In terms of their position in Europe. Yes, I think we're going to be... We're going to be okay. Oh, they want to cross the bridge, eh? My armies are a bit knackered, but it's hopefully... Well, actually, actually because I can't... If it's not a river battle, this is dangerous. Pull back. If it, if I could be sure it was a river battle, and if I was in good condition, my army was in good condition, then that would definitely be a great choice. But my army is weak. So if I gambled on a river battle and lost, their significant amounts of cavalry would do a lot of damage. If I can get my howitzers up, or howitzer, singular, up from Paris. Howitzer, get you guys over here to Munich. So let's combine the militia units together realistically. Pull one out. You guys are in good shape. Got about 10 grand. You're going to carry on your current path. You guys are going to combine, hopefully merge you guys together. Good. I want to try and stop recruiting militia. Repair the university. Yeah, you are waiting on... Yeah, you're waiting on another artillery unit, but... Heavy cavalry, that's what I want to see. Cuirassier. Hohenzollern Cuirassier. Okay, so I want to try... I want to get a unit of Cuirassier Regiment Taxi. Reg regiment Taxis. Let's get a heavy cavalry unit, because then I'll move a... Pull a, 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 a militia unit out. Still coming at us. But again, now we... Now we can start to recruit heavy cavalry, and I want to try and exploit that. Because heavy cavalry will make short work over there. Skirmish cavalry. So let's try and get... Are any of these limited? No. 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 Good. Okay. Let's get one whole turn of heavy cavalry out of Munich. That would be worthwhile. Let's upgrade. Oh no. Okay. Cheap. Okay, we can repair college, because that's what we need to do. You guys hold. I'd like you guys to try and attack us in Prague. I want to save you a bit of cash as a war chest. I don't necessarily want to have a full army over here in Western Europe yet, but I think I kind of need to be ready for a Polish army to start working... No, sweet sp Spanish army to be working its way up from Spain. We can repair the iron workshop. Mr. Frankfurter uh, advanced to the north. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to end the episode there. So... Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Bavaria. At least for the moment, things seem a bit safer. Radio. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you've enjoyed.